Hoima is one of the areas in Uganda where fishing activities play a great role in both nutrition and household income. Fishing is done on Lake Albert on the border of Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. According to the 2014 United Nations Development Programme report, produced in collaboration with the Uganda government, Hoima is one of the areas where poverty is high due to a number of factors including limited income opportunities and the inability to earn the real value of produce. Consequently, many people crow themselves in activities perceived to accrue better returns, such as fishing. This has resulted in the use of crude fishing methods and the subsequent depletion of the lake. It is for this reason that Water Governance Institute WGI, a non-governmental organization, has come up with a new project called Named Aquaponics Farming in the districts of Hoima, Kamuli, Ajimani and Kampala to improve on the community's livelihood and nutrition. Aquaponics farming is a type of farming where fish is reared in wooden or plastic boxes or brick tanks and the fish waste water is used as organic manure for tomatoes and other similar crops in a connected system. Aquaponics has been done successfully elsewhere in the world in countries like Malaysia, China among others. Water Governance Institute is convinced after tests in Uganda that aquaponics will be successful also in Ugandan communities. There are a number of steps that can be followed when practicing aquaponics farming and this can start with clearing of land where to set up the aquaponics units. Step 1. Get sand, stones, bricks, timber, cement among other materials as you can see in the pictures. Step 2. Showing different stages of construction materials being prepared to start making boxes and laborers. Step 3. Another stage is making the wooden fish tank and crop grow beds and placing them on a foundation. The wooden boxes will be lined with PVC or tarpaulin for waterproofing. In the case of a plastic tank, you cut off 20 centimeters of the top of the tank to serve as a crop grow bed and the remaining 80 centimeters will serve as the fish tank. Fill the grow beds with three-quarter aggregate and sand on top. Fill the fish tanks with water so that it does not overflow. Now your system is ready for the fish fries. According to statistics from Water Governance Institute, the smallest system can stock between 80 to 100 tilapia fish and 160 to 225 catfish whereas the biggest system can stock between 9,375 tilapia fish and 12,500 catfish, and all these can be harvested at the same time. Henry Wazira Mugisha, the Executive Director of Water Governance Institute, says unlike keeping fish in ordinary ponds, this system is safe because it is vermin-free and supervision is easier since the boxes are set at the courtyard. The advantage of aquaponics against the other fish farming practices that have been introduced in Uganda are the following. One, in a container, you do not have birds coming to eat your fish when they are still young or even when they are mature. In a container, you have you will build it, build it in either in a, in a in a screen house or put it on a veranda. There are no uh, rodents or snakes or frogs coming to eat your fish when they are still young. So if you put in a hundred and the management is good, you expect to get a hundred. But in a pond system, you can put a hundred thousand fish. In three months, if you go to do sampling of the pond, you discover that the stock you have 
could actually be 3,000. Now, that's a big loss. And that's why many pond farmers have not been as successful in uh, rearing fish, or it has not been as profitable as people expected. Because of these externalities, the, the snakes, the frogs, the birds, the rodents, which eats fish in the ponds, and even in the lakes. This project is running for three years in four districts of Kamuli, Kampala, Ajumani and Hoima, aiming at boosting communities with household income. And according to Vazira, if this system is managed well, like 7.5 cubic meters investment can accommodate over 1,000 fish, and this can be ready for sale between one to eight months. So this project also helps households to get fish protein, which normally is, more, is expensive to get, and uh, one that can help in very many malnutritional or dietary problems that we tend to see among the young children who are less than five years old, and also among the elderly who are above 75 years old. Fish is a good protein, and fish is liked in Uganda, and we think that uh, that is a nice way to help people access the fish that is normally expensive. Uh, you are you probably may be aware that the fish in our lake systems is being uh, depleted because of the international export market and even the local market. So we can no longer uh, depend on uh, our natural systems, lakes, rivers, swamps, to provide all the fish that we need as society or as people. And so that is why we think we should have an alternative mechanism to provide fish protein and the horticultural crops, which were tomatoes, green pepper, uh, and uh, carrots, uh, spinach, uh, sometimes which are not easily accessible to many of these uh, uh, ordinary people. So that's the project we are promoting.